and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. Tarek Lux, we actually just got done playing this deck. I'm recording this after just to let y'all know about a bug right now. Um, Relentless Pursuit is kind of bugged right now. It if you um, if the tar if the whoever you're targeting with this if that unit dies before Relentless Pursuit resolves, you will not rally. You know how like with gold Golden Ages, like they kill your thing, you still rally anyway. Like that's how it's supposed to work. It does like it's two separate things, and that's how it's supposed to work with Relentless Pur Pursuit. Also, it's two separate things. But right now that is bugged, so don't try to. You know, you try to target something with Relentless Pursuit, then they vengeance it, you will not rally. Uh, that cost us a game uh, that we would have won if it, if it did, so we just didn't uh, put that game in there, and we recorded five separate games besides that. Uh, so just, just so you know about that. All right, here's the real intro, and uh, hopefully y'all will enjoy the deck. And welcome, everybody here on Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Tarek Lux. This is our last viewer-submitted donation deck today. This is going to be a deck that's going to be similar to the Poppy Tarek deck that we played the other day with a lot of rallies with Tarek. But we're going to be using Lux so we can make some final sparks. And we got brand new 5 mana Lux making those final sparks. Now with Tarek, the way that these two work really well together is that when Tarek copies the spell over and casts it again, then that means you're, you know, casting another spell towards your 6 mana for uh, spells for Lux. So for example, let's say you have the attack token on the odd turns. You save three spell mana, you play Tarek on four, you play Lux on five, and then with your three spell mana, you cast Zenith Blade on your Tarek. All right, so now your Tarek gets plus one, plus two Overwhelm, and then you can copy that over to your Lux that has the barrier. Now it gets the plus one, plus two Overwhelm, and that's you casting a three mana spell twice, so casting six mana, so your Lux levels up and you get your final spark for your trouble. So that's a pretty cool little combo there. We're also going to, you know, use these different rally cards that if we, you know, play a rally, copy the rally, that's going to be, you know, eight mana worth of spells, so easily enough for some more final sparks. So we have all that kind of stuff. So that, that seems pretty cool. So that's kind of what our deck's about. We have a lot of different, um, you know, spells that target, that help protect our champions and grow our champions and, you know, give some overwhelm and things like that. So it's going to be, that's what our deck's going to be about. It's going to be about overwhelm, rallies, final sparks. So, seems pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. We're going to go play our Tarek Lux deck. Just playing it on over a normal, with it being a meme tier deck. And we'll see how it does. All right, we got some Lurkers. Dub's Remembrance. I could see just mulliganing everything, or I could see keeping, like, Frightened Ibex. The Ibex isn't going to really trade with anything until we have the Tarek. Yeah, it's our only, our only support card. Maybe we keep like a Bright Seal Protector and one Remembrance. This is a difficult hand. And that's the problem. Like, this thing has Fearsome, right? Like, I would definitely kept the one drop if we could have blocked that right away, but it has Fearsome. We could play the Bright Seal Protector to block it. Or I can wait till next round in Remembrance, and that's kind of what I want to do. Because they're going to miss Lurk. No, oh, we're supposed to miss Lurk. Alright, we get Screeching Dragon. Oh, that's not going to be our plan anymore. Fleet Feather Tractor. They need, they need to do a better job of missing Lurk. You're covered. So that's not so bad. Yeah, they're really not doing a good job of missing Lurk. 
Alright, this is good. Remembrance now, only four mana. Alright, got, got a tough one. It's possible we should just save our spell mana for next round. Instead of playing this Ibex. Ugh, worst card in the deck to draw. Guess we play it, though. Because, you know, because we can just draw other Zenith... You know, like, we can still draw the Zenith Blades from our deck, so we don't... We really don't want to draw another one. Pale Cascade. Not a bad Pale Cascade. Could definitely use one of our champions. Champion! Nope. I tried. Let's go ahead and Barrier Rally. I think they're going to want... Like, they probably put that back wanting to attack. And we're not going to let them. Also going to just redraw a card because we need more cards. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, that's like they they can't make that attack. All right, Ibex, I know you're frightened and all. What is this attack about? How could they make that attack? They're at seven. What are they doing? What are they doing? Alright, that's doing 7 damage. Okay. That'll do. So they wanted to make a death from below, as you could tell. Ooh. Vladimir Brom. They can get rid of barriers pretty well. Alright, I like keeping Lux. I think we're gonna try. Ugh, try sending other stuff back. Okay, we like Tarek. Now we need something to play before round four so we don't waste our three mana. We can save some spell mana though, nothing wrong with that. What's up, Goat? That was like the goat draw. Gem pairs with Concerta Strike for six mana. Good deck building. I have the man. I need the reputation. It's nothing personal. Bleh. Bleh. Bring clarity. Okay, so if I play the Zenith Blade, the Zenith Blade won't have Daybreak anymore, but we will copy it over. We could get, like, you know, double Zenith Blade, but no Daybreak. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. I think I'm still in there. Obviously, we could, we could draw two of the Pale Cascades, but I like this plus one, plus two Overwhelm. I hope they're not playing Scorched Earth. To protect, never submit. Get him, Tarek. Get him. Cool. Awesome. No Scorched Earth. At least not yet. I 
came to fight. You came to die. So if I do this, like they could have like a troll chant and it doesn't kill it. Um. Kind of my best option though. Playing Lux right now isn't a great option as far as like taking a lot of damage goes. Yeah, I think it's just kind of like what we have to do. Really hope they don't have a troll chant. Really hope this works. Yeah, Ibex is in here kind of because of the Zenith Blade. That makes sense, like with how I Ibex grows things. Yes, yes. And so that's uh, two targets. Whoa, that's aggro. Chill. I don't know exactly what that's for, but probably nothing good for me. Alright, so it's at five. Six. Seven. So I'm, play I'm planning on playing this Bastion. I'm not gonna let them frostbite with this spell shield. Might as well use all of our mana. Alright, 13 overwhelm, can't take damage or die. Fine, fine. But I'm rich. So we have perfect time to draw a Nope. Perfect time to draw a rally. Yep, that was their plan with frostbite. Or I guess just that because they get to uh, create a crimson unit. So Lux gives me two extra mana next round. We can Lux single combat. I found my family, my blood. Rally, rally. No. Take heart. I'm hoping to be able to play Lux this round, but I just want to do this first. Alright, cool. That will do, Tarek Lux. Victory is a thing of beauty. So I kept Lux in my opener, and we never played Lux. <laughs> I don't, know, I, don't, I don't want them to be able to like challenge like if I I don't know if I play Lux there they just have their 06 challenge my Lux and like attack out and then I try to single combat I don't I don't know I guess maybe I didn't need to do that uh this hand looks okay looks okay it's just the Ibex doesn't trade with stuff I guess we are we've already determined this is again a good how do we we only have the two Ibex how do we always have those two this is a good Lux matchup in the fact in that no, I need to miss. Wow. And the final sparks kill stuff. Are you serious? This Ibex has been killing me. <laughs> I just can't trade. One power. Ugh. You can always rely on you to keep us safe. That's gross. Well, we have to do this so we can actually block with this Ibex. Very poor turn that we have to trade our, our one drop and our three mana spells for a one drop. That's pretty bad. Yeah, they're just putting Rek'Sai back on top. <laughs> okay, the Cybex may not be playable. We have to go through all this work just to trade with the one drop. And it still can't block. This is bad. Alright, so we're saving three spell mana for after Lux. Right. 
Saving two spell mana for after Lux. Yeah. But if they hit Lurk, we lose. That's how it goes. We can't have them hit Lurk, but I, you know, like we have to be able to block there. And I, like, if, if we could have blocked there, I would be at 17. And these would have traded, and then, you know, we're looking a lot better. But unfortunately, the sidebacks just doesn't work. Okay, they hit work, so. We'll let them do their cool Rek'Sai animation. <laughs> it's pretty funny, though, right? Yeah, we only have the two in the deck, and, and we keep on drawing all of them. There's only two. An opportunity to shine even brighter. Okay, we got Aurelia Azir. Can we talk to stop their aggressiveness? But we'll see what we can do. I like having Fleet Feather into Mountain Goat. That's good. And I like both of these spells. Pill Cascade, Sharp Sight. Their quality. It's, it's no champions, but... Against Aurelia Azir, you have to make sure you have a lot of cheap cards, right? Like, you need you need to be able to... You be able to be low to the ground. Code is really good in this matchup, like being able to continually block sand soldiers is really nice. Just like we practiced. Spin around, throw it down. <laughs> Alright, so we can now trade with the sparring student. Not exactly the kind of trade we want to do. Considering we have like the Flea Feather Tracker they can trade with the Sparring Student. Because of, like, Homecoming, I'm not going to put the other gem on this goat right now. Even though it would enable, like, the Pill Cascade. Okay, so I just want to lead and follow. I could potentially see us playing Relentless Pursuit. Because, yeah, they're tapped out. We... Take a little bit of damage. So, Relentless Pursuit would give me six, seven, eight damage. Put him down to seven. Now, let's just go ahead and gem here and pass. Let's get this Lux in next round with some good spell mana to go along with Lux. I was gonna say that'd be very happy if they don't have a champion, but yeah, then they played that. I must become the leader they need. Nagori, formations. Whoa, really? Did I level that up? No. Do we have to just make that block. was 
not a good attack. That was a surprising attack. Okay. So let's just go ahead and... We have three other mana. Because I want to spend four mana right for Lux, and so I want to rally. That's what I'd like to do. I can't imagine that like these two cards are going to defeat us. I, I think this is probably over. Yeah, like this, this should be over. play a blocker, but we can challenge that blocker. And this is going to be lethal unless they have something really good. For that last card. Or really just anything they can play. Overwhelming out of seven. Attack does seven. Alright, good win. We are three and one with Tarek Lux. Would it help if I apologized? GG's. And Tristana plus uh, Atrocity does sound like a, a good plan. Okay, LeBlanc Ash. Let's keep Fleet Feather Tracker, send the rest back, even though like Sharp Sight's always a really good card to have, but I want to make sure that we can try to find our champions and stuff. All right, not a bad curve with the goat into the sergeant. Hello. We are pretty bad against culling strike. It's like maybe that's like a reason why I should have kept the sharp sight because, um, you know, Lux three power now. You know, Tarek three power. So like, just the original Tarek and Lux now are getting killed by culling strike, and you would think that a LeBlanc Ash deck would probably be. Very focused on calling strike. And steal. Wow. Alright, so they have Brittle Steel or Elixir of Iron. Is it worth making this challenge into Brittle Steel or Elixir of Iron? That was. Yeah, I think so. I think we still do this. Even though, like, it does get them, you know, it gets them a reputation. It gets them 5 out of 15. I could wait, and we'd have. You know, like these cards. But I also think we, you know, want to get that attack in and get the damage going, all that kind of stuff. The blade is forever at its zenith. I need just a moment. Glory Seeker. I guess Glory Seeker trades with the 3 4. Now LeBlanc levels up. It's a little annoying. I don't think I actually play anything. Like, we could play the gem because we're going to waste the mana, but I think we actually wait till after Lux for the gem anyway. So this is just what happens. Alright, so that, this hasn't worked out, so that attack now looking kind of poor. You're right, we should. I will unite the frail yard. Let's brighten up their day. The time is right. Strike now. I'm just taking out. Okay, so Ash it. If they open attack. They frostbite Lux. Six, seven, we're getting nine mana. Just thinking, you know, like, do we want to play right to anything first? My shield is yours. Demacians protect each other. I'm going barrier on the goat because you know they frostbite the Lux.
Four out of six for Lux. All right, that gets both of them out of pulling strike range. No more back. All right, this is looking good. Oh, that's a good blocker. Mm, we had a good, we had a really good open attack there, and then rallies. Okay, let's go Zenith Blade over here. I don't know. I could go Zenith Blade on the go. So then they neither die to Reckoning. And can't get Brittle Steeled anymore. I kind of like Zenith Blade on the go. And of course we could go Zenith Blade on both, I suppose. So many Omen Hawks. Scorched Earth is a thing, I suppose. Harsh. This would have been a good time for Remembrance, but with, with Lux at three, I'm playing the three mana spell to get the final spark and saving the six, but I would I would kind of want to play like Pursue Golden Ages this round if possible. Okay, yeah, we should be winning this game. I would expect. Well, I mean, I guess... I guess they do get to block. One mana left, they've already played all their uh yeah, like this should be it. They've already played all their Omen Hawks and everything, and these both have overwhelm anyway. Like if they have Ravenous Flock right there, like that's like where they could stay alive. Which I guess that's that's why I should have put it on I should put it on the go because Ravenous Flock anyway. So that was a, a mistake by me, but I should have targeted the go. Yep, wrong target, but they didn't have the flock, so all good. There we go. That was Taric Lux. Okay, so just another kind of, you know, rally a lot, play a bunch of, you know, self-target stuff. We got to see Lux do pretty good, making some final sparks. Um, the Remembrances look good. I liked those. Um, most of the stuff looked good. Mountain Goat was awesome for us, creating those gems. That was really good. And then, obviously, Fleet Feather Tracker, um, Bright Seal Protector, and having Pill Cascade, Sharp Sights, all that kind of stuff was good. The only thing I wasn't too impressed with was the Frightened Ibex. I think I would have preferred some more, uh, just like three mana units, like maybe some more sergeants or proteges or, you know, something else. Uh, wasn't too impressed with that card. It didn't. But besides that, uh, everything else looked good. Um, of course, that card, you know, the Ibex, the whole point of the Ibex, if you're wondering, like, why is that in here, is because it can uh, be really nice with Taric support and especially with, like, Zenith Blade Taric support. It grows pretty well um, and everything like that. And, uh, yeah, so like that's why it's in here, um, but you know, just didn't get to have that happen in any of these games. Um, pretty cool looking deck here, you know, Demacia and Targon as a region definitely look very strong. It looks like you have lots of good combinations, and obviously like they're, they're the uh, region for the dragons. But um, you know, all right. So anyway, that's gonna be it for Taric Lux. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. It's a different Lux deck. If you've been looking for something different to do with Lux, you know, maybe give this a try with having 
uh, some some rallies and all that kind of stuff. I would probably recommend replacing Ibex, like I said, with like Sergeant or or uh, I don't know any you know something else like Ment of the Stones. Maybe get get some more or I, there's lots of things you can play. Um, but a unit that costs three or less, you know, maybe like Laurent Protege, something else in there, um, you know, whatever you want. But uh, feel free to try the Ibex, try it out. Let me know how it goes for you. And yeah, if you're looking for a different Lux deck, give this deck a try. All right, that's going to be it here for Taric Lux. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.